Hello, so this video relates at least somewhat to the one I made earlier on the tendency for online videos, um, channels, people do not really think for themselves in my opinion. Um, what I want to particularly focus on is quite specific. It is a very common response, attitude, perception of the BBC in China. Um, I don't think I'll have space in one video to cover absolutely everything that I want to say, so I'll try and make this as condensed as possible. It is something that I've wanted to speak about for some time because criticism of the BBC is very widespread among Chinese internet users. Now, whether this is a true picture that is their genuine sentiments or whether these are CCP trolls. I think it's probably a bit of both. And I, I have a number of theories as to why this is. Well, just to use an example, today actually marks, uh, May the 12th, marks 10 years since the devastating Sichuan earthquake. That was one of the worst natural disasters in modern times. Um, it's estimated about 87,000 people perished. It was an awful disaster, um, and it really impacted China. Now, the BBC had a video earlier which was showing one of the places impacted. It might have been Wenchuan, I'm not sure, as a ghost town. Now, it seems to me that this was simply reporting it as it is. That's what's happened. It's become abandoned. And according to the photographs, it has, um, you know, the buildings haven't been like demolished or anything. They just are as they were following the earthquake. The but there is heavy criticism of this BBC video because they use kind of sombre music in the background. Now, could they have chosen a better type of music? Maybe. But I, I don't really share the consensus that it was in bad taste. I don't think the video was in any way mocking the disaster. It was saying that millions of people have come to visit the town as a ghoulish tourist attraction. A few weeks ago, there was a disaster in Guilin City. 17 people drowned on the Lee River in a dragon boat race. Now, onlookers were filmed laughing as that happened. I'm sure they weren't doing it to be malicious. They didn't realise how serious the accident was. China's a huge country, 1.3 billion people. And the fact of the matter is, there is a curiosity in Chinese culture for disaster. Of course, the sentiments as well, and the Sichuan earthquake in particular, is a sensitive subject because so many people died. It was an awful, awful disaster. But what I find perplexing is how the focus is on attacking the BBC. A lot of the comments below were like, BBC, you disgust me by using this sort of music. BBC, you're trying to score political points against China, etc. Here's a fact. After the Sichuan earthquake, residents of Wenchuan City in Sichuan tried to push for legal action because they argued that the buildings in that area, Sichuan is a relatively poor province compared to other parts of the country, had not been maintained, had not been constructed properly, despite that being an active earthquake zone. And as a result, those families actually got harassed by the authorities and warned not to take further action. That's a fact. So I must admit, it makes me quite angry that people can only focus on criticising the BBC and they seem to have no capability of self-reflection and thinking, well, you know, it wasn't the BBC that caused 87,000 deaths. It wasn't the Chinese government either, not necessarily, um, even if you argue that the construction could have been better. It was a natural disaster. China is a seismically active part of the world. But... You know, I, I'm going to defend the BBC. I'm sick and tired of seeing Chinese nationalists lash out at the BBC, bias BBC. Here's a few things to consider. China is one of the most difficult countries in the world to be a journalist. That's a fact. Every Chinese network is basically controlled by the Communist Party. A fact, right? So it's all very well bashing the BBC and yelling about bias. But how can you expect Western journalists to do their job properly if they're restricted from accessing, for example, the scenes of disasters. 
if they are actually physically harassed by guys in dark uniforms. You know, you can yell about bias, but how, how can they do their jobs properly when they are harassed everywhere they go? China is not a tolerant country when it comes to outside journalists. It just isn't. Um, and I'm sick and tired of seeing this attitude. Oh, there's a problem. Blame it on the BBC. Every time. And it seems to be a mentality that is incapable. You know, these same people resent resent the accusation that they are stooges of the Communist Party. And they say, oh, I'm not a member of the Communist Party. Okay, well, why do you never criticise them? Why is it always deflection every time you want to blame the BBC? So this is what I would say. The BBC is a big organisation, right? And it's one of the world's, if not the world's oldest major media network. One of the largest. Definitely, there are many, many areas to criticise the BBC. The BBC gets widely criticised within the UK for a perceived left-wing bias. There are many legitimate reasons to criticise the BBC. But when it comes to China, I think it's a case of a totalitarian system where people are taught from a very early age to be subservient to the Communist Party. Therefore, if outsiders criticise or scrutinise the ruling party, then it's seen as some sort of agenda. Um, the BBC can't win. No matter how they report something, they're going to be accused of wanting to have an agenda. So I really wonder what these people want. You know, if the BBC reports a disaster, oh, they're trying to make China look bad. If they don't report the disaster, oh, they don't care. The BBC can't win when it comes to these people. And I'm sick of it. Because... Put it this way, if it wasn't for the BBC reporting on uh, the situation of the Wenchuan survivors, do you think state-controlled Chinese media would have done that? No way. No way would they have reported on people trying to gain justice for buildings that weren't properly constructed because they're controlled by the Communist Party. And it just seems to be a very common attitude from a lot of Chinese netizens that always criticise the BBC. I'm not saying... They can't criticise it. I'm saying that seems to be the excuse every time instead of criticising the Chinese government. So if you don't like being called, um, you know, being accused of being brainwashed, then prove it. Prove it. You know, I'm, I'm so tired of this attitude because it's it seems to be the deflection every single time. If the BBC doesn't report issues in China, do you think communist state media is going to do that? No, because they are.